so good 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 morning to all the all the members of pyramid team and also the students from uh, pyramid college and uh, the students who are in touch with pyramid e services for uh, joining this session it's an amazing opportunity for everyone to you know connect with ravi sir directly and have the queries answered about you know their profile for university of fraser valley so uh, sir i can see quite a number of students in the session so would you would you like to jump directly for a q and a or would you like to have a brief presentation as well sir i, I think you know i mean i can uh, it's up to you i mean we can do a presentation will not take more than 5 5 minutes at least students can see some pictures of ufe and sure. then uh, you, you know we can yeah. have, we can have a you know like there are some uh, really good uh, 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 you know uh, for students to see i'll just start the slide show and then you know we can have so at least students have an idea of, of what we are promoting so uh, shall i start yeah so university of these are some uh, taken these pictures are taken on our campus all the students you see people you see are, are actually our students they are not models and uh, so we call ourselves far from ordinary so this is a main campus Uh, of our Abbotsford campus, as you can see, this is the the building that you see is right now uh, our uh, that's the, our library, and behind that is our student residence, and the mountain that you see that's uh, Mount Baker in United States. So we are very close to U.S. border, just five minutes from the U.S. border. Washington State comes first. So uh, University of Fraser Valley, we get students from over eighty six countries. We have fourteen to fifteen thousand full time students. uh we have over 2000 international students close to 2000 international students and one of the best things about the university is the class size is very small it's about 25 maximum 25 average uh students 25 students in a class 25 to 30 students and uh, so where are we as you know canada is very popular these days everywhere you go you know it's uh canada is popular for for being a peaceful country and also a country for immigration but canada is also known for its education it's one of the best countries uh, known worldwide for its education and any education taken in canada is recognized worldwide and in fact united nation has ranked canada as one of the best countries to live in con- continuously for the past 10 years in the last 10 years if you look at their list at least one canadian city will be there in the top 5 places to live so where are we located as i said we are on the west side of uh, canada we are near 1 hour from vancouver city 3 and a half hours from uh, victoria 2 hours from whistler 2 and a half hours from seattle us and we are just 5 minutes from uh, uh, from us border so we have uh, uh, i'll go back sorry we have four campuses we have main campus in abbotsford we have a campus in chilliwack mission and hope for our main campuses we have we have now our main campus is based in abbotsford i live in abbotsford and this is where i'm giving you a presentation for a very interesting city it's a very multicultural city 33% people in abbotsford are from uh, are are from people from other countries are immigrants mm-hmm. and a majority from punjab they are from uh, they live in abbotsford 33% our population is about 150000 and 13% are between the ages of 29 uh we are the fifth largest city in british columbia so these are our campuses uh you know uh, the uh, we have uh, the abbotsford campus chilliwack mission and hope campus the the picture you see behind the big building that's the chilliwack campus the air 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 view that you see is actually the uh, uh, that's the abbotsford campus and uh, and all these campuses are connected by our campus connector so there's a bus service we call as campus connector which connects the students uh between the campuses uh it runs every 1 hour so some programs are taken in chilliwack campus for example and some are taken in abbotsford campus for example business uh associate of our general studies diploma it programs are taken in the abbotsford campus whereas in chilliwack campus is a science center we have a trades and technology center where we have the robotics program and the uh, digital manufacturing program and other programs and in the science center we have uh, science related programs mission we have graphic design and hope we have some technology programs so uh, 
we offer a lot of support. We have international academic support. We have counseling services, and we have center for accessibility, center for experiential learning. And so basically when a student is there, we try and give you every possible support that you need. We are there for you. My, I work for the international office and uh, you know, we have a whole set of people who are there to help the students during their study in, uh, at, at UFV. Uh, housing, so we have a couple of options. So this is our own housing. We call it the student residence. As you can see, there's private bedroom, two students share a living room and a bathroom. This is inside the campus, inside the Abbotsford campus. It's five minutes walk to your classroom. So this is one of the options you can stay, or you can stay with a family, you can rent an apartment, or you can rent a room. So many different options available for living in Abbotsford. Uh, similarly for food, you, there are a lot of cafes inside the campus. We have Tim Horton coffee shops. We have pizza and all different kinds of food. We have Indian food available. So students are, uh, you know, are, are make sure so you know we make sure that the students are well fed so there are different options for them to have food in the campus uh, we are very very some of these students are from Punjab as you can see uh, and I'm sure most of them were sent by pyramids only Amandeep am I right <laughs> do you recognize any one of them yeah so as you see uh, we uh, we celebrate a lot of events on campus to make students feel at home we celebrate uh, celebrate Diwali Holi and Christmas and Guru Purak. So all these events are celebrated on campus to make the students feel uh, at home. We have 65 clubs in association. We have 14 sports team. We have two main gymnasium where students can, uh, you know, spend time. And we have a couple of, uh, we have a health club on campus also. Now, uh, we also help students connect with local students. We have friends with different uh, options. You can do friends without borders. We have global student associates who help students, who help new international students. We have uh, global engagement volunteers. We have global citizenship grant program. So different options are there for you to connect with the local Canadian students or with, with the community there. Uh, we also have co-op option. Now co-op is paid internship. I know in India you have internship, but in, I think in India when you work, as a, when you are a student, you don't get paid. But in Canada, we have something called co-op. Uh, where uh, this is offered in business program and CIS, computer information system program and some uh, arts program and science programs where you can take a break between your study and go and work for a company and get paid for it. UFV works with about 1300 companies across Canada. So you can, if you get selected, you can take a break from the university. You can do a co-op only after completing one year at university. You can take maximum one year break and work there or you can work on campus or you can work off campus or you can do co-op and uh, so a lot of research positions about 180 student research positions are available uh, different options for student to to explore we also have something called a partnership institution worldwide we these are our uh, uh, partner institutions in all over Europe, in US, in Australia, uh, different universities. So you can take a break during your study and go for one semester or two semesters, maximum two semesters to any of our partner university in US, UK, Sweden, Germany, Australia, China, and, and, and study even Mumbai University. Mumbai is also our partner. <coughs> you can go and study there for a semester or two and get well, good work, good experience, study experience and come back and start continue with your studies. Uh, we offer about 17 bachelor's degree program in 35 areas, <coughs> three master degree programs and 100 plus certificate diplomas and post degree programs. And in business program, we offer specialization. So we offer business diploma and we offer BBA, Bachelor of Business Administration. In Bachelor of Business Administration, you can specialize in marketing, finance, accounting, human resource management, operations management, and aviation. In arts, you can do social sciences, humanities, media communication, global development studies, criminal justice. In health sciences, you can do a BSc, Bachelor of Science in Biology, Chemistry, Physics, Geography, Math, Statistics, Agriculture Science, Nursing. Nursing, unfortunately, is not uh, available for international students, but otherwise all of these are available. Computer Science, Kinesiology, all these are uh, available for uh, students of international, international students in our health science, in our science and health science studies. Professional studies, we offer community support workers, social work, child and youth care, 
education assistant, social work, uh, teaching, computer information system, and library tech. Uh, fine arts, we offer diplomas in graphic and digital design, theater, diploma in theater, photography and film, visual arts, creative writing, painting, drawing, sculpture, and uh, associate's degree in media arts. Uh, so how to apply? Basically choose your program, check the entrance requirement. We need students to have a, a, a IELTS score of 6.5 IELTS with no band less than six. Up, go to Pyramids. They will do all, everything for you. Apply online, receive your offer letter, pay your deposit, $5,000 deposit, and receive your official letter of acceptance. And once you pay your final uh, balance tuition fee, you will get letter of final letter of acceptance and apply for study permit. It's quite easy. Uh, and you know, for students who are there for the first time, go Pyramids has got very good counselors. So they are they've been working. You guys have been working with us for the last eight nine years. So most of you know all our programs. So they will help you with the selection of programs. Now important dates. So as you know, yesterday we closed our. Uh, you know, uh, on the 1st of October, we closed application for January intake, but now we are accepting application for summer intake. Please remember the deadline for summer intake is 1st of February. Deadline for summer intake is 1st of February. So students, please start applying now. Seats get filled up very, very fast. So 1st of February is the deadline for summer intake. Summer intake starts in May. And then we have winter as fall semester, which starts in September. The deadline is 1st of October. Sorry, the deadline is 1st of April. Yeah, we uh, tuition fee. So our tuition fees uh, for four courses per semester is about $7,560. Uh, you're looking at about close to about $10,000 in the first semester. So 10,000 Canadian dollars or 5 lakh rupees around that much in the first semester. And the second semester will be around same 5 lakhs. So if you're doing a diploma, you're looking at about 20 lakh rupees budget, 5 lakh each semester, you're looking at four semesters for a diploma, so about 20 lakh rupees. Yeah, and we have a lot of scholarships. We have a $5,000 scholarship, entrance scholarship, we have $10,000 entrance scholarship, and we have $20,000 for students who want to do a bachelor's degree. So this time, this year, we, have off we are giving away more than $170,000 worth of scholarship to students for the summer for fall intake in January. So students who have marks like 90, 95% definitely will get an entrance scholarship. You're looking at about 88%, 89% and above, they might get scholarship. So that's kind of the cutoff for students from India. Yeah. Now, what do students say about us? We are five star QS rating. We've been uh, rated, we got five stars in 2009, uh, 19. QS is a European rating agency for universities. We gave us very good uh, feedback. 98% of students were very happy with the education. Our uh, placements are very good. Uh, most students would recommend uh, UFE to other other institutions. So uh, that's my name, Ravi Phillips. I head the international marketing for India, Middle East, uh, Eastern Europe, and Africa. That's those are our markets. You can look, check us up on uh, on our website ufe.ca, Facebook UFE International. We are on Twitter. Uh, we are on Instagram, so please check, uh, you can get more information about us. So I, uh, you know, end my, uh, my presentation and now I'm open for questions. So please feel free to ask me any question you might have. Okay, uh, sir, I can see a query in the chat box. Uh... There's a student with the name of Rahul Kanda. He wants to know, uh, would winter 2021 be an online uh, intake or uh, there's a feasibility of face-to-face uh, uh, -face classes as well? Uh, Ravi sir, would you like to answer this question? Yeah, so again, uh, apologies. Yeah, so winter is online. Will be all the courses are going online. However, some courses like, uh, uh, you know, um, uh, labs and all, they will be offline. They will be in class. So they will, uh, you if you will arrange for students to arrive on certain days and do the uh, this, uh, do the class uh, for labs. But definitely, all theory and everything will be will be will be online. Yes, because we are just following up the government of Canada. Uh, you know whatever their uh, their policy is right now, whatever they they are giving us instruction. But as I said, uh, labs will be uh, in in on campus, but otherwise it'll be online. Right, sir. Yeah, hi Rahul. Rahul, you can unmute and you can talk to sir. 
I can see your hand raised. You can you can take the picture. Hello, good morning, sir. Hi, Rahul. So, sir, I want to ask that uh, that our semester is going to be online for winter. Yes. It is, yes. It is. So, so they, sir, I got uh, offer letter and I got also AIP AIP visa for UFV. Excellent. And uh, so, sir, VFS center is not opening, so we are expecting to come, sir, as our classes in January. Yeah. If we want. Know. Yeah. Sir, if we want to, मतलब हमें support letter मंगाना हो UFV से to travel, so they can give us for our practical classes. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, there is an email address. I will be sharing it with 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 Pyramids Group. You can okay. write to them. Uh, it's in our department, and we'll issue a support letter. So okay. definitely, we ha. So they'll be. आपको support letter issue किया जाएगा. आप उसको use करके you can come. And as okay. I said, आपकी mostly classes on online होगी. ऑनलाइन होगी बट मे बी जिनका लैब्स हो यू नो स्टूडेंट्स इन द साइंस एंड ऑल दे माइट हैव टू कम ऑन कैंपस सर आई एम सीआईएस स्टूडेंट या सो सीआईएस माइट हैव सम लैब्स आई डोंट नो फॉर श्योर व्हिच व्हाट क्लासेस विल बी ऑन ऑन कैंपस बट डेफिनेटली मेजॉरिटी ऑफ द क्लासेस विल बी ऑल ऑनलाइन एंड यू विल बी कन्वेड टू दैट सो यू नो दे विल बी गिविंग यू इंस्ट्रक्शन एंड टेलिंग यू हाउ अबाउट हाउ इट विल बी गोइंग बट इफ यू गॉट एआईपी एज़ सून एज़ यू गेट अ वीजा देन आई रेकमेंड ट्रैवल टू कनाडा यू नो एंड and take your passes from here okay sir thank you sir yeah thank you but so at the same time my friend but since since your second stage application has not begun yet since your passport has not been stamped yet so you will have to wait for your second stage processing to be done and once that is done once your passport is stamped that support letter will be of benefit to you the okay, support sir. letter will do no good to you till the time your passport is not yes, stamped okay sir the okay sir aip the eligibility stage clearance the approval in principle you know would not allow you to travel this document cannot allow you to travel to canada you need to wait for your second stage processing you need to wait for the vfs to open up aaj jaise news i have you heard a good news from the minister of immigration and he has said that we are opening up borders in the last week of october for students whose visas have been stamped you know and uh, they are just waiting for the readiness plan from the institutions and institutions are submitting it ki covid ki kitni preparedness hai sare colleges or universities in canada mein to uske basis pe institutions ko allow kiya jayega bachchon ko bulane ka so which is a great great news but you know we are hoping that vfs centers will be open soon and then your your visas would also be stamped so all right yeah the letters are good for travel once you get your visa and we can send you a support letter it will help you while traveling you know when you arrive on camp when you are getting on the plane and all then it will help you yep right so just to just to add on i believe rahul kanda is a, a student from pcpt who also was awarded scholarship of 5000 yeah i cat. remember his name his name is very very familiar i was wondering i think i wrote him an email also rahul did you receive my email did you remember yes yeah, sir i yes sir aapki email aayi thi humne ha maine aapko likhi thi email aapka naam mai bahut mai wahi bola kanda canada is almost looks the same you know <laughs> I remember you very well. So I we look forward to having you here. Okay, thank thank you so much sir. Welcome. Thank you Ram, thank you so much and many congratulations for the scholarship as well. Yeah, I said we are giving out a lot of scholarships for uh, we just finalized we are almost finalizing the list for January intake. As you know, it was for fall intake many many students got scholarships ranging from $20,000 to $10,000 to $5,000. For winter also we are giving a lot of scholarships. entry scholarship and summer also we'll be giving but it will definitely be based on their uh, their academic you know anyone who are 88% and above will probably will be getting the scholarship around that much yeah right sir. perfect perfect uh, sir i'll i'll move ahead to the next query from a student with the name of radhika mm -hmm. so uh, radhika has message sir hello sir i have done uh, 12th vocational in knitting and textile with the score of 65% in 2018 after that i did only ielts nothing less that band score is 6.5 not less than 6 uh i am highly interested to study at ufe in abbotsford 
could you please share if i am eligible and uh, what program i should apply for yeah so you know we used to have a fashion design program we used to have unfortunately we don't have that program anymore i mean uh, if she has done knitting and textile she would have been perfect for the fashion design program but unfortunately we don't have uh, you know uh, for her her english language scores are really good so which is fantastic however uh, she could uh, you know go for a general study diploma or associate of arts that's what i can recommend because i don't think so she could do cis or business or any other courses so a general study diploma or associate of arts uh any of these program might be good for her but her english definitely she meets our english requirement yes sir her ielts score is uh, i believe perfect at 6.5 not less than 6 so she would be eligible right sir absolutely absolutely right radhika i hope you uh, got answer to your query and if in case uh, you know you want to know anything else you can message us and also it's a humble request to all the students who are in the session right now uh, please ensure that you drop your uh, phone number in the in the private chat to me my name is mentioned as amandeep singh and uh, you can send your number so that we can you know connect with you after the session and help you out with all the you know queries and concerns you might have right sir so radhika uh, i would request you to please share your contact details with me sir i'll move ahead to the next question uh, so there's a student who wants to know uh, Uh, so do you have a business administration diploma and uh, does it require mathematics yes so this is for students who want to do business program or it program or science programs you need to have grade 12 math okay so uh, for business student and computer students who want to do business program or computer program uh, you need to have 42 marks out of 100 and student who want to do science programs like associate of science or bachelor of science they need to have 45 out of 100 now i understand in india commerce many students don't have math so in case you don't have mathematics the other there are two options available for you option number 1 do the nios math on demand test national institute of open school math on demand test every month they have a test in chandigarh delhi jammu do and do there get 42 out of 100 for business and IT and I think pyramid steam already has experience with this the second option if you if NIOS is not happening there's something called Ontario virtual school Ontario virtual school just do the grade 12 math you can complete it in 120 hours which is about 1 month you can complete it the fees is about $800 you can register online do MCT for you that's the name of the math test that you need to do mct for you do uh, for mct for you yeah do that enroll in that program finish it get c plus we'll accept it in lieu of grade 12 math so easiest do nios math on demand test it's in india it's very cheap i think about 3000 rupees if you can do it then do the ontario virtual school so yes you need maths we will accept that math instead of grade 12 Right sir. Uh thank you so much for uh helping with out with that. Uh JR I hope you got the answer for your query and uh if in case you still want to know anything else you can drop a message to us in the chat box. And uh, uh sir I'll move ahead there is a student with the name of Tarun. Uh she's asking uh, hello sir I passed my 12th standard with medical stream and got 74% marks and I scored 7 overall bands with each module 6. and uh, she's asking if general study diploma uh, is relevant for uh, her background yeah she's got fantastic i all so she can actually do any program however if she has maths in grade 12 then she can do associate of science or bachelor of science or she can do agriculture technology diploma she can do business anything she can do but if she doesn't have math in in grade 12 then as i said either she can do nios math on demand test or the other option otherwise general study diploma she can study we have no problem she can study that program general study diploma absolutely we have a summer intake she can fill up the application the application for summer started yesterday so please uh, fill up your application as soon as possible right sir i hope your query is answered and also tarun i would request uh, to share your contact details in the chat box so that you know we can contact you after the session as uh, so for further further your application 
sir uh, moving ahead there is a student with the name of himani malhotra uh, she has asked uh, sir does ufe offer anyone one year post graduation managerial program related to project management and uh, could you also share the eligibility requirement and the scholarships that are available uh, for this program yeah we do have post grad post baccalaureate in data analysis it's not project management but slightly related to it slightly you could do that uh, it does the intake is summer summer intake is the start you can apply now for that you need to have a bachelor's degree in preferably in it if you have a bsc it or bca that's perfect or if you have a bachelor of science uh, a degree in, in mathematics or statistics that's good too if you have a business degree that's fine too so you can enter the program in summer intake you will do a basic statistics course and a programming course and then from september you'll do the data analysis program which includes three study semester and two semesters of co-op paid internship after that you complete a post baccalaureate in data analysis so we have post grad program in data analysis which we don't have in project management right sir amani 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 sorry to interrupt so ravi ji hi uh, good morning so what what's the percentage requirement uh, in bachelor degree uh, if we look at uh, uh, post baccalaureate in data analysis so we can pick up uh, bsc it bca btech computers btech yeah. it yeah bsc science with mathematics as a subject bba yeah. bcom with stat as a subject right yes 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 but remember for bcom student they should have grade 12 math also okay okay please check they should have grade 12 math and then any of these subjects and they will come in summer in may they will do two courses one is from statistics course 106 and one programming course after they finish that then september the main program will start so september to december will be the second semester or first semester for data analysis then january to april second semester then co-op eight months of co-op come back to the university complete three more courses and then you graduate with a post degree program so for a bca student there are two options a data analysis and a credit transfer into bcis right yes so if you are a bca student from punjab technical university so students we have an agreement with punjab technical university where we give you 2 years credit so if you are a bca student from punjab technical university you can either do a data analysis as mr sunil said or you can do a credit transfer how that works is you will directly come into the third year of the program of our bachelor of computer information system you do year 3 with us and year 4 with us so two years you study with co-op and you complete you do you should add you get a second degree from us bachelor of computer information system with a three year work permit what is the percentage requirement 60% in bachelor degree for uh, post yes. for, data analysis for, see the thing with with the credit transfer bcis is very much in demand and you know what i mean the percentage keeps we expect students to have 80% and above but you know 60 might be a little tough but someone who's got 70s that they can try for sure thank you so very much thank you thank you thank you sunil sir thank you so much for for uh, adding your inputs uh, sir i'll i'll further uh, you know connect with the student uh, i can see himani malhotra himani you are raising your hand would you like to ask anything else from sir Uh, yeah, sir. I did my bachelor's of business administration, specialized in banking and insurance. So, am I eligible for this course now? For data analysis, yeah, you might apply. Definitely, you can apply. Did you have maths in grade twelve? Yeah. Okay, perfect. Yeah, then definitely you should apply for the summer intake for post post baccalaureate in data analysis. Uh, you can uh, start the program. You can start the application. Yes, you need IELTS of six point five, no bad less than six. and as i just explained absolutely yeah that would be fine yeah, all right fine. and what would be the average fee structure for that entire course yeah so the entire program of data analysis is about 23000 canadian dollars approximate but it's split up into three different semesters so for the first semester you have to pay part of the fee i think it's about 3000 second semester the september intake you pay about 10000 and then january intake you pay another 10000 and then again you pay for the final semester so that's how it works so but 23000 uh, will be the cost of the data analysis program split into three different semesters three to four semesters 
All right, thank you. And okay. that club program which you were telling about that paid internship. Yeah. Will every student get that, or, or some of the students will get selected for that program? Yeah. So let me be very clear about co-op. It's not guaranteed. Co-op is not guaranteed. Nobody can guarantee it. We work with thirteen hundred companies. They regularly invite students to work, but you have to get through the get through the interview because these companies we can't tell these companies to take you. We can take you there. They have jobs. They will come and interview you. You need to have very good academics. and once you get through the interview then you can work with those companies yeah so co-op is not guaranteed but we try and we try our best to get get students to get get the co-op jobs all right sorry to take much of your time but uh, my last question is could you please tell me the basic requirements for scholarship so scholarship uh, as i said is totally based on your academic uh we have some scholarship for high school students so if you are in high school then you need to have at least 88% and above but if you are applying for a post graduate program like uh, data you know post baccalaureate program like data analysis and all then you know higher percentage i cannot tell you what percentage you would be it it's like like we take out the list for example 20 students have applied for data analysis we will see who has a top 3 4 students what what was the highest percentage so if the highest percentage was 75% of all those students we will try and give them the the the, the first 3 4 students the top 3 we will try and give them the scholarship so there is no set which says ki okay you have to have so much what what kind of percentage did you get in your bba it was somewhere between 75 to 80 yeah so you could be a very very strong candidate i'm i'm quite sure you might even get it but I, as as of now i can't say because when we will wait for all the applications when we see uh, then we make a list of all the students who have applied we see their percentage what they have got and then based on that we take out the list like you know the top 10 list and top 5 list top like that we take it out all right thank you welcome thank you himani so somebody is ask is it possible to travel to canada in jan 21 intake on a study was an absolutely yes uh harmeet uh, if you have a study visa as you as we were talking about today the government has opened up uh for students to travel to canada so if you have a study visa then absolutely you can travel right sir um uh, sir i i can see pranab uh, who has raised his hand pranab hi how are you i'm fine sir how are you good 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 pranab go ahead please ask a question to sir okay uh, hello sir hi yeah uh, sir i'm looking for my brother's study he has done his btech in mechanical but he has done an extended degree he has extended degree so he was thinking about pursuing mba so it is possible to pursue mba well i we don't offer mba uh, for that you might have to ask pyramids because e services they can give you other option my university i work for university of fraser valley we don't offer mba programs thank you so much pranab thank you so much for joining us for this session yeah thank you so much yeah yeah and and like you just said you are already in touch with somebody at pyramid right yes sir i just sir Okay, uh, from Patan. Uh, Jalandhar, sir. Okay, all right, all right, no problem, no problem. Thank you so much, Pranav. Thank you so much for yeah, joining us today. Uh, sir, Harmeet Singh, who asked about visa, is uh, has asked if uh, you can share the fee structure for bachelors in business management. So our our tuition fee is about ten uh, thousand Canadian dollars per semester, approximate, with everything. So uh, uh, and then for a year is about twenty thousand Canadian dollars. So, if you are doing a bachelor's degree, there are four years. So, twenty thousand Canadian into four years. If you are doing a diploma, it's two years only. So, two years would be about forty thousand Canadian dollars, and a four-year bachelor's degree would be approximate about eighty thousand Canadian dollars. But do remember, you can work while you are studying twenty hours a week, so you can save some money. With that money, you can take care of your expenses, living expense. But and you also get to do co-op. So, if you are able to do co-op, you can. earn good money and save money with that to help it help co-op helps you pay your tuition fee right thank you sir harmeet i hope you got uh, the answer to your query and also you know if you are uh, yet to connect with anybody at pyramid e services i would request you to please share your contact details with us so that we can uh, you know get connected and uh, help you further your application at ufv uh sir moving ahead i can see okay this is this individual with the name of priya dhaiya yeah priya how can we help you priya You can ask your question. Please go ahead. Hello. Hi. Yeah. Uh, good morning, sir. Actually, I just want to confirm. Uh, do you have any course in like in a medical field without maths after a plus two? 
uh, we don't we do have a course called bachelor's in kinesiology kinesiology okay. you become a kinesiologist you know they work they you can work in nursing homes and sports team and all they work with uh, you know uh, they they work like physiotherapists they are not physiotherapists but they work like similar work uh, but maths is required every science program in can at least with i in our university you need grade 12 math okay uh, there is any alternate like student give uh, any like exam of maths as as i said uh, okay. you can do a nios math on demand test national institute okay. of open school grade 12 okay. math uh, you need to score 45 marks out of 100 45 out of 100 okay, if okay. you score that that's good enough and ios so that after that a uh, student can apply any course yes yes, yes. okay thank you sir Okay, well. thank you so much uh, sir there's a student with the name of uh, just karan preet uh, yeah hi just karan how are you oh uh, yes sir uh, i've got the uh, six band overall and okay. 5.5 in medium so is it uh, possible to get a government college okay i can talk about my university what did you do in your high school uh, so non medical okay so to get admission into our university we need 6.5 ielts with no band less than 6 however we do have a partnership with code core college uh, you could ad- yes. get admitted into code core do one year with them and then transfer to our university to a program either digital manufacturing or robotics program so one year with code core one year with ufe uh because for that particular program the ielts requirement is 6 band with no band less than 6 with 5.5 so that is what something that you could so i think uh, amandeep primits team can guide you in that but directly coming into a university for 6.4 you need 6.5 no band less than 6 so with your ielts right now you can come via code core okay sir Absolutely, Ravi ji. One year with Code Core Advanced Diploma in Web Development, leading to one years in in industrial manufacturing in University of Fraser Valley. Yes. Just Karan Preet, up uh, which branch is connected with Pyramid? Me? Yes, sir. Ajay sir is connected with. Okay. So, you can please leave your mobile number in the chat box. We we will contact you later on and we will discuss about this option. Uh, yes, sir. Sure. Thank you, Just Karan Preet. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. प्रोग्राम Uh, confused. I believe we don't have any law program at the university, right, sir? Yeah, we don't have law. But generally, if he wants to be a lawyer in Canada, you have to do a bachelor's degree first, and then go to a law school. You cannot go to a law co- law school, or law college, right yeah. after your grade twelve. So, if he has done uh, commerce in twelve, I would recommend tell him to do a BBA program, and after that, or uh, you know, go for a law. go to a law school to complete do his law degree right sir thank you so much sir okay uh, any any specific student or any staff member or any student from pcbt if you have any question you can raise your hand uh, we can unmute you and you can query in the chat box as well any staff member any student directly connected with pyramid services or pyramid college you can unmute and you can communicate with us directly I can see Arvinder. I can see Aryan Sharma. Arvinder, do you have any question to ask? Okay, uh, sir. Aryan Sharma has dropped a message. Uh, so, what is the minimum percentage required for twelfth non-medical student to get admission at the university? Well, I would say higher the better, uh, but definitely sixty percent and above. I would say. 60 and above would be better because you have to understand you know if he's non medical he might be interested in applying for cis computer information system diploma and right now we are getting such high qualified high qualified students with 80 85% so so you know i mean higher the better i would say if he has higher marks much better we would say yeah right sir and i hope i hope you are able to uh Uh, you know get your answer for your query if you want to know more about you know your possibilities for enrollment at ufe uh, you can unmute and you can speak directly as well sir actually i have only 60% marks 
and in maths i have less than 40 marks so i just want to know can i get admission in your college no oh, no unfortunately for a uh, computer program uh, you know you could apply uh, what program do you want to study uh, regarding non medical stream so you know i could offer you computer information system but for that your maths is very low you need at least 42 out of 100 for computer information system you need maths 42 out of 100 and you need overall 60 and above is it's, it's kind of difficult if you had 70 would be better but with your marks what you have what i would recommend you could probably do a general study diploma because for it program you need higher marks oh sir uh so uh, i'll quickly jump to the next question uh, there's a student uh, who's asking okay there's a colleague from uh, from pyramid e services from patiala office who's asking uh, for agriculture uh, technology diploma does student uh, require any specific subject or course in 12th standard okay so for student who want to apply first of all uh, we offer four programs in agriculture we offer a bachelor of science yes, bs in agriculture science we offer uh our agriculture technology diploma we offer one year program in horticultural management and one year program in uh, pest management all these four uh, all these programs are offered to students for fall intake only fall intake international students are allowed okay not for summer but for fall you do need in your high school especially students with from medical stream or even non medical are fine they need to have biology for sure for agriculture student biology and math Grade twelve math. If they don't have grade twelve math, again do the NIOS math on demand test. We'll accept that. So you need biology, and you need grade twelve math. Ravi, is there be is there be credit transfer ka option hai? If किसी ने bachelor in agriculture करा हुआ है, PAU से Punjab Agriculture University से या PTU से करा हुआ है, तो absolutely, absolutely. अगर किसी ने even if they have done from P Punjab Agriculture University, which is quite a reputable university. आपने अगर बस इसमें आपको क्रेडिट सिर्फ दो साल का मिलेगा बिकॉज वी हैव अ रेजिडेंसी रिक्वायरमेंट विच गिव्स यू फिफ्टी परसेंट क्रेडिट बेसिकली इफ यू हैव डन अ थ्री ईयर डिग्री सो वी विल गिव यू टू ईयर्स ऑफ क्रेडिट सो दे कैन सेंड यूजुअल सेंड एस ऑल द सर्टिफिकेशन एंड ऑल द मार्कशीट एंड ऑल वी लुक एट इट वील स्टडी द करिकुलम एंड सिलेबस एंड देन दे विल गिव यू दट प्लीज डू नोट ड्यू टू कोविड यू नो फोर टू सिक्स वीक्स बिफोर वी टूक टाइम टू डू द क्रेडेंशियल इवेल्युएशन नाउ इट टेक्स लॉन्गर टाइम मे बी प्रॉब्ली एट वीक्स इन डे बट डेफिनेटली ऑप्शन आर ओपन फॉर क्रेडिट फॉर ट्रांसफर क्रेडिट फॉर श्योर थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू थैंक यू सुनील सर सर दर्ज एन अदर क्वेश्चन Okay, sir. Uh, if a student holds seventy percent uh, in the in the in the academics, uh, would that make a student eligible for a scholarship? That's no, a query. I believe the student joined in a little late. Yeah, seventy percent unfortunately is not too high. We are getting students with ninety eight percent. You know, for this for January wow. intake, we had about four or five students: ninety seven, ninety six, ninety eight, ninety four. Over, I think ten fifteen students over nineties. we got so definitely 70 is too low as i said you need to have at least 88% and above in high school so consider for all right saloni i hope i hope your uh, query is answered uh in ahead i'll i'll i i'm yet to see a query in the chat box so uh, i see one query here from so taran so i can see taran yeah and in this he has said okay He had 12th standard medical stream with 74%, which is good. Overall, IELTS 7%, 7 IELTS, and he applied for general study diploma and he got refused. So, what I would recommend to him is, he should do Grade 12 Math by NIOS, and then he can apply either for Associate of Science, or Bachelor of Science, or Agriculture Technology Diploma Program. But he needs to do the Grade 12 Math, NIOS. If he does that, then he can come for uh, to us. for fall intake right sir i hope i hope you have heard sir out so you know you can connect with us uh, for further discussion on this we'll help you out with all the you know aspects in terms of how to give the exam and uh, how to you know register sir uh, further to this sir i can see a couple of uh, more students i can see gorav hi gorav how are you gorav can you hear me hi amandeep how are you i am fine thank you yeah gorav is it any specific question you are, want to ask sir No, 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 no. I don't have any question to ask them. Thank you, thank you very much. 
ओके 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 थैंक यू सो मच सो एनी जस्ट अ फॉर्मल अनाउंसमेंट टू ऑल द स्टूडेंट्स एंड स्टाफ मेंबर्स इफ यू हैव एनी स्पेसिफिक क्वेश्चन टू आस्क यू कैन डायरेक्टली अनम्यूट एंड यू कैन आस्क योर क्वेश्चन टू सर ऑल द स्टाफ मेंबर्स यस डियर प्लीज गो हेड या अमन सर ओपन बोर्ड इज एक्सेप्टेबल इन यूएफ और नॉट या वी आर एक्सेप्टिंग मैथ स्कोर ओपन बोर्ड Yeah, Grade Twelve Maths. We are accepting that score for Open Board is NIOS, right? NIOS, yeah. National Institute of Open School. Yeah, we'll accept their math results only. Twelve standard results. Sir, it's student. Ravi ji, the question. Uh, I'm sorry. Let me just uh, uh, ask this question once again. For somebody who has done twelfth, complete twelfth, not mathematics as a subject. Complete twelfth from NIOS with physics, chemistry, math, or physics, chemistry, bio. No, no. Or... वो वो एक्सेप्ट नहीं करेंगे और आई थिंक वीजा भी नहीं मिल वीजा वाले भी एक्सेप्ट नहीं करेंगे जितना मैंने सुना है आई डोंट नो यू कैन कंफर्म बट वो ओपन बोर्ड नहीं एक्सेप्ट करता कैनेडियन एम्बेसी और आई थिंक नो कंट्री विल एक्सेप्ट इट बट वी विल एक्सेप्ट ओनली द मैथ रिजल्ट बट बाकी तो दे नीड टू डू अ रेगुलर स्कूल ओके सो आई हैव अ लास्ट क्वेश्चन टू आस्क सो माय क्वेश्चन इज रिलेटेड टू ट्रांसक्रिप्ट्स सो वी हैव इंट्रोड्यूस्ड अ पॉलिसी दैट ट्रांसक्रिप्ट्स वुड बी सेंट बाय द इंस्टीट्यूट ओनली समबडी हु इज ग्रेजुएटेड फ्रॉम पीयू और फ्रॉम पीक्यू सो दोस ट्रांसक्रिप्ट्स वुड बी सेंट बाय द इंस्टीट्यूट ओनली इन केस ऑफ 12th द ट्रांसक्रिप्ट्स वुड बी सेंट बाय आइदर सीबीएसई बोर्ड और इफ समबडी हैज डन 12th फ्रॉम पीएसईबी द ट्रांसक्रिप्ट्स वुड बी सेंट बाय पीएसईबी बोर्ड इटसेल्फ सो इज देयर एनी चेंज दैट स्टूडेंट कैन सेंड गेट द ट्रांसक्रिप्ट्स डन एंड सेंड द ट्रांसक्रिप्ट डायरेक्टली टू द यूनिवर्सिटी या सो I'll start with school. The, there are a couple of ways. One is you can give us the username and ID. If it's online result, we can verify. That is good. You can send it to the admissions team. They can give, see, send the hall ticket. You know, one of the things we are asking for is your hall ticket, and then give us the username, password. We can verify the mark sheets. The other option is you can take the mark sheet, get it stamped and certified by the school office. Put it in an envelope. Seal the envelope. put the stamp on the envelope and you can mail it to us that envelope it will be open to the send it to the registrar's office similarly for the transcripts also from let's say uh, punjab agriculture university or ptu get the transcript certified from the ptu certif stamp put it in a envelope make sure the envelope should have the name of ptu okay it cannot be general envelope a gen proper envelope from the institution then when you close it it has to be stamped and sealed and you can courier it to us all right yeah. thank you thank you so yeah. much hi right, sunil sir hello uh, sir hello sir as a student yeah hi pooja hi sir actually i have a doubt yeah please go ahead uh, i just want to know can you apply condition application on uh, usv right now like with duolingo or ielts registration yeah absolutely you can apply with duolingo we accept 110 and above and uh, but you do know for visa purposes student will need an ielts test yes, ielts sir. score so yeah. for now uh, for summer intake we already started the application as of 1st of october so please come you can submit online mm -hmm. application and you can submit uh, duolingo and we'll accept it okay and one more question sir like uh, on the usc website the degree can we offer all of those program to international student as per the availability what program which program masters and post baccalaureate certification Yeah so you know what uh, if you look at the uh, program it will say whether international students can apply or not just check on that uh, you know i can actually give you the website right now the link and uh, you know you can just i'll just type it down uh, and and just check before you are um, uh, you know applying so it's a, okay i'll just i can type here right i can just type here okay you can check here Okay, you know what? I will send a uh, email and the link to Amandeep after the session. Sure, sir. Share it with you. So it's a very good chart um, in which it shows but, with all the programs which are open for international students and those who are not open for international students on the right hand, and it also shows which all intakes are open. So please have a look at that. It's very. I'll send it to Sunil and Amandeep, and you can they can share it with your entire team. And just one last query. The turnaround time uh, for masters and postgraduate graduate certificate offer. Yeah, so for masters, how it works? The department makes a decision. Uh, we have, as we know, right now we have three masters. We have masters in social work. For master in social work, you need to have minimum two years of social work experience. 
and preferably you need to have a BSW, Bachelor of Social Work, with two years of social work experience. You can apply. Okay. The next intake is fall of 2021, and the department will have to decide if they'll accept you. Then we have Masters in okay. Criminal Justice. Again, the department makes a decision. You apply, and then they will decide if they can accept you. And the third one is Master of Education, which unfortunately is not open for international students. We have one post baccalaureate mm -hmm. program in data analysis. That's all we have right mm -hmm. now for those grad programs. Okay, sir. Okay. Yeah, thank, thank you so much. Right, Pooja, thank you so much. Uh, sir, there's a student with the name of Nancy. She just wants to know uh, about the courses in uh, diploma. Uh, of agriculture and uh, also the kind of job opportunities that exist in the student versus education uh, in this particular program from uh, UFP. So uh, for agriculture, as I said, we offer a BSc in agriculture. We offer a diploma in agriculture technology. We offer a one year certificate in horticulture and crop protection and one year certificate in uh, pest management. So four programs we offer. All the programs are open for international students in September intake. Now the opportunities are a lot uh, in, uh, for agriculture because as you know Abbotsford and British Columbia is known for its agriculture especially Abbotsford and Chilliwack this area whole Fraser Valley where we are located is one of the most fertile lands in Canada. Most fertile. So you find a lot of farms which have uh, blueberry, raspberry, straw. If you're an agriculture technology student or BSc agriculture, you're looking at a starting salary about forty to forty-five thousand dollars per year. Uh, agriculture, a career in agriculture in Canada is very good, and they're quite sought after. There are a lot of job opportunities available for them. Right, sir. Uh, Nancy, I hope you got more clarity on the job opportunities for for this, these programs. And if in case you still want to know more on this, you can connect with us. And for that, please share your contact details in the private chat section with us. We will ensure communicating with you on this uh, and help you out for your enrollment at UFP. Uh, sir, a quick question from a student named Hardeep Kaur. Uh, she's saying, sir, I have applied for September intake, uh, but I received my AIP on 23rd September. Uh, so I have to defer it for January. Do I proceed for January intake with the same AIP or need to apply it? I believe we can. We can the same only, right, sir? Right, Sunil, sir? Yeah, this is a visa related question. I think yes. your team can better, uh, you know. Amar, can, can you get the details? You? Yeah, can you get the details from the student so that we can speak to the student personally? <laughs> so, Hardeep, uh, uh, contact details from the, the chat box. That, you know, we give you an update on this in detail and help you out with your queries. Amandeep, I just emailed you the, the, the link for all the programs that's available at UFE, where it shows clearly which programs are available for international students and which are not available. So on the right hand side, last column, which shows if it's available for international students and all the semesters when it's available. It's a very good uh, you know, link, you can share it with your team. Right, sir. I've got your email. I'll uh, ensure that I get a communication, you know, it, uh, get it sent to everybody at, yeah. the, at the office. Right. So, you have somebody who's got 53% in computer science diploma. So, this diploma, is it 10 plus 3? What is it? Or he, what did he do after grade 12? Too harsh, you know. He says, Hello, uh, sir. Yeah, hi, Harsh. Yeah, please tell me. Hi. Actually, after 12, I just... Uh, did my uh, diploma in computer science. So okay, can you tell me which courses I can apply for? Uh, where, which course, to, where did you apply and study this diploma? Uh, in Punjab, in the Polytechnical College, Ludhiana Polytechnical mm -hmm. College. And, and in 12th standard, did you have mathematics, 12th? Yes, yes sir. Non-medical, I did non-medical. So, so, yeah, what you can do is you can apply towards for credit transfer into the Bachelor of Computer Information System degree. Since you've already okay. done a two-year diploma, you might get some credit. If you're lucky, you can get two years credit. If not, maybe one and a half years credit. And you do the remaining pro courses, uh, uh, remaining two, two and a half semesters, and you can get a bachelor's in computer information system degree. You can apply for that. Uh, two and a half year? Yeah, two and a half years, probably you might be able to be able to do that for a degree. So you've already done two two-year diploma, so you, you will get credit. I, I can't promise you might get two years credit or maybe one and a half year credit. The remaining okay. semesters, you do maybe four to five semesters, five semesters at least, you finish that and you might 
can get our uh, be a bachelor of computer information systems degree but for that first you need to apply send all your transcripts your syllabus we will look at your syllabus look at your marks and then we'll do a credit transfer evaluation and then we will be able to tell you exactly how many credits you get okay uh, for in which day i can apply for like for january or you can apply for summer intake january is finished now we close the application okay. but then for summer we are uh, you can apply for summer intake there's a lot of time so as soon as you apply and mr uh, you know uh, pyramids can explain you how the process works for credit transfer and what all uh, uh, documents you need and how to send it they'll explain it to you or so just drop your uh, contact number in the chat box and after this session we'll contact you okay thank you sir thank you harsh thank you thank you so much harsh uh, like mr sunil requested please share your contact details and be further on your uh, case and uh, so there is a question from rn uh, sir would it be considerable for a non medical student of cbsc board with additional maths exam from open board to get admission yes yes no problem yes 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 for sure right so uh, all the students uh, and staff members this is another uh, you know uh, open request if you have any query to ask uh, you know in regards to your education at ufb based on your profile you can uh, uh, message in the chat box or you can unmute and ask your query uh, as it's uh, uh, you know uh, uh, 1151 and it's, it's uh, quite late for ravi sir in canada itself so i would request a quick uh, you know message or a uh, uh, unmuting and communicating with sir if you have any question to ask ravi sir i have one question hmm yeah if students score 60% please go ahead 60% overall not less than fortitude any uh, any one subject then he or she is eligible to get admission in uf if yes so which go so if they are doing 60% honestly the best program would be uh, Uh, now depends if they have maths then they may be able to apply cis will be very difficult because cis already we are getting a uh, computer information system we are already getting students with very high marks business also we are getting students with high marks so they could do probably uh, maybe a diploma in general studies or associate of arts or they could do uh, maybe agriculture technology diploma these programs uh, they could apply for those yeah but cis will be difficult for at 60% we you can try if there are seats available they'll give because you know we are getting very highly qualified student for the computer information system program now you know 80 85 90% so the seats get filled up so if somebody comes with lower marks you know it, it it's like delhi university now right delhi university 95% 90% means nothing now because there's so much of demand so same thing with it program in our university is very much in high demand so you can try so when you apply you can write to Yeah, you know, in the notes section, when you apply, you apply for that program, and then you also give a second choice in the notes section. So the registrar's office can look at the marks and say, okay, he's got low marks, he can get this, but they can get, we can offer him another program. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Well, hello, good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. Hi. Uh, so there is a case like uh, student did B.Tech uh, in mechanical in 2019. with 72.5 percent and uh, band score is 6.5 not less than 6 is he eligible for uh, data analysis course yeah they, they if they have done grade 12 math and obviously they must have done because they have engineering yes they can apply for data analysis for sure uh generally for data analysis we do prefer students we do prefer students with it background or you know bca background or maths and stats background but however he can apply in sept in summer intake we will have a programming course and a statistics course after that then the main program will start in september so yes he can apply okay thank you thank you dear sir i want to ask a uh, question anybody here yeah. yes hardeep yes as the current latest post of pyramid is this students who have enrolled in the designated learning institutions can travel to india and the institution should have to prepare covid-19 readiness plan so i want to know about that whether uf fees restrictions about travel or whatever so uh, you know uf fee being a public institution we follow whatever the government rules and regulations are whatever we have been asked to so yes we are uh, uf is preparing a, a you know a, a covid re- readiness plan we or maybe i think we already have it 
and uh, as the government directs us we'll follow the government's uh, you know direction and uh, yes so uh, you know as as you know the borders are open now if students are able to get their visa they're welcome to come to canada and even though winter intake will be all mostly on online there might be some courses maybe labs and all which will be on campus the students might have to take the campus but they will have to follow the guidelines the covid guidelines of how many st- there might be some restriction about how many students will be in the classroom and you know they might because we have to make the campus uh you know uh, adhere to the rules of the government so yes so we will we do ufe does have a readiness plan thank you dear thank you i hope uh, your query regarding readiness plan plan got answered and uh, further to that guys uh, if anybody who is in the session right now i would request again uh, we we have uh, you know the time span that has been given to us by ravi sir we have, we have some time left and uh, if you have any further query to ask you can uh, you know raise your hand or you can put it in the chat section or you can unmute and you can ask sir directly so if in case you don't have any question uh, please let me know i think we, uh, then we can call it a day any staff member or uh, any student who is in the session do you have any question to ask sir i think most of the queries are answered and uh, you know staff members also have some questions in the chat oh wonderful so you know what i mean uh, i'm available any time if you need to do another session after a few weeks more than welcome let me know it's always a pleasure to see all of you i'm seeing your smiling faces after so many months i think the last time i met you all was in january right uh, when i came to india i yes, hope uh, this gets over i can't yes. wait to come to india I'm, i'm really excited time to come to india has been too long stuck in canada i mean still you know things in canada are quite good you know very much in control and you know we didn't have many cases here uh so everything is good but there are a lot of some restriction but life goes on quite normal but definitely a uh, pleasure to work with you all please let me know if we want to do other sessions we can do and i i i look forward to seeing you all and please recruit lots of students i want pyramids to send us the maximum number of students to ufc and now that we have a partnership with co court core also so you can send students through that also all right so thank you all and my best regards and please keep safe and hope to see you soon thank you so very much sir vijit thank, thank you thank you well thank, thank you, you sir thank you bye thank you so much sir thank you bye pyramid visa for a better life